Now, one of those names, mm -hmm. and I love this guy. Yeah, me too. He is fabulous. He <laughs> animates the races. He's a character. He's dynamic. Yes. C'est bon. <laughs> um, that is Lionel Vujasin. He is a seasoned Swift racer who was snapped up by the ever-impressive Canyon ZCC. And he invited us into his home to show us his, check my notes, his duck. <laughs> he just showed us who the best of the best is. What a racer. I live here with my girlfriend's family and few pets, I would say. I was the kind of, of child who was passionate about sport. I started racing, I was 14 years old, and it was open categories with every age. The race was two hours, and I was fighting cramps. It was all about trying to reach that finish line. Cyclocross is a big discipline here in Belgium. It's different than mountain biking because here, most of the, of the track are flat. I was in a point in my cycling career, I would say, and I, I saw Zwift. I, I joined Rafa Cycling Club and ended up riding in Vancouver. And yeah, it was pretty funny because I was an underdog and I won that race, I won $10,000. My Zwift experience has changed a lot since then because when I started, I was like on a really basic setup. But now with the upgrade, I have a smart trainer, I have all the wow equipment, thanks to the team. Zwift Racing is kind of a game changer. It gives me opportunities I would never expect. When you are on the trainer, you are risk free, so you can give you the best of yourself. I remember the Tour de Zwift with Bologna. I, I, the last climb, I just gave it all in the last K just for the win. Something I would never do outside because I would be scared to crash. My comeback story in Zwift was in Amsterdam. It was so crazy because it was a community race and I had a Bluetooth dropout. A dropout situation for Riaz and it looks like here, he's got, probably got his hands in the air, like what is going on? No power for 20 to 30 seconds. It, in my mind it was hollow, everything was over for me. And then the power came back and I just tried to ride as, as hard as possible. Here's the shot here, trying to get back, but it's 21 seconds, never give up the ghost. We'll see if he can make this happen. Try to come back on each group, to the lead group, and finally be able to sprint. And I won that race, it was like, it was amazing. It's gonna be Canyon ZCC across the line. He made the impossible happen. I think the best thing that happened to me uh, on Zwift was to be able to join Canyon ZCC. It's, it's like a family and we know each other so well now. It's really a pleasure to race with these guys. Our biggest rivals is of course indoor specialist. All the races against them are so close. It's sometimes 0.1 of a second. You never know what can happen and that's so fun. I mean, he's just too cool for school, isn't he? Is he? too cool for school. I love him. The Dr. Doolittle of the cycling oh, world. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. And I must admit, I'm now social media friends with him. I'm possibly the only person... Did you get slipped a little DM today? I did, yeah. I'm the first person <laughs> in the history of social media to receive duck pics online. Because <laughs> he sent me a picture of his duck and said he sleeps behind the green screen at the back of his... the back. And he says he doesn't know how the duck sleeps because it's so noisy, the turbo, when it's kicking up. Wow. Well, there you go. <laughs> duck It was picks. very nice. A lovely beak.